offering of sight to the blind, set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were passing on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Jesus claims to be the prophet. Moses said the prophet is coming. Isaiah describes what the ministry of that prophet would be. Malachi ends and says he's coming. He'll appear suddenly in the temple. And when Jesus begins his ministry, he says, I am that prophet. What Isaiah was talking about, look what else he said. Look at verse 22. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? He said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal thyself. Whatsoever ye have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he saith, Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own he appeals to what happens to prophets when they begin to reject his ministry. Look what else he says about a prophet. In verses 25 through 30, he compares his ministry to two of the Old Testament prophets, to Elijah and Elisha. And he says when they were alive, the children of Israel wouldn't accept it. It was Gentiles who accepted the ministry of these prophets. And the same it is with me. You will not accept me as the prophet foretold, except the Gentiles. In Jesus' own words, he claimed to be that prophet. Look in Luke 13, in verse 34 and 35. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets. And stonest them that are sent unto thee. How oft would I have gathered thy children together as a hunt, I end up gather her brood under her wings. And you would not. You're doing to me, the prophet, just like you did to the prophets who came before me. You're going to kill me. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. Verily I send to you. You shall not see me until the time come when you shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We can look at Matthew 12 where we talk about Jonah. And uh, he compared the prophet Jonah to himself. As Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the fish, so must the Son of God be in the belly of the earth. Jesus said that he was the but what, is, what did others say about him? If we were to look in John 4, 19, the woman at the well, remember what she said? Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Remember what the blind man said in John 9. He was healed. And I said, who did this? And, and, what, and he says that Jesus was a prophet. The widow's son that was raised from the dead in Luke 7, 16. What was the response of the crowd? A great prophet is arisen among us. When they asked, who do you think that Jesus is? They had listened to what the different people said. And some of them said, it, it's the prophet Elijah or the prophet Jeremiah or some of the other prophets. Come back. They identified him with the prophet. In John 16, 14, and 7, 40, the crowd says, it's the prophet that Moses was talking about in Deuteronomy 18. When Jesus came triumphantly into Jerusalem, and there was a big turmoil, and people said, what's going on? The people 
people say, it is Jesus the prophet. The leaders are afraid, and the people took him as a prophet. After the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, as the disciples were on the road to Emmaus, and Jesus joined them, listening to their conversation. They're talking, and, and they say, we thought he was the prophet. When Peter preaches in Acts chapter 3, he identifies this passage in Deuteronomy and says Jesus was the prophet. When Stephen is uh, before the, the court and they're going to stone him and he's giving a review of Hebrew history, he identifies Jesus of Nazareth with the prophet. Is Jesus the prophet? Well, he says he was. Other people identify him as the prophet. Well, what did he actually do? Did, did he carry out a ministry of a prophet? Well, what's a prophet do? A prophet preaches. Did Jesus preach? You ever hear of the Sermon on the Mount? The greatest sermon that was ever preached? What about the Olivet Discourse? For telling events that are even future to come tonight. Does that sound like a prophet preaching or telling? <coughs> One day, they, the religious leaders got some guards and said, Go out and arrest Jesus and bring him back. And so they go out. Jesus is in the process of giving a discourse, so they just kind of stand back and listen until he's finished. The crowd goes, and they'll grab him. And they were so amazed by the words of Jesus, they just left him and came back. And they say, well, where is he? You were supposed to arrest him. And they say, no man ever spake. Hebrews 1. Turn with me to Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews tells us not only is he a prophet that speaks the word of God, but he is the prophet who is the word of God. That the prophet is the embodiment of the words of God in the flesh. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, God who has sundry times and in divers manners, spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son. And he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory, and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Just like the people were fearful when God spoke to them from the mount, and it was such a terrifying experience with the, with the fire and the thunder and the shaking and the voice, and they said, well, this is too fearful. So the Father sends the prophet, Jesus, to live among them and face to face preach and foretell and reveal to them the word of God. Christ the prophet embodies the definite, declarative, and ultimate self-revelatory voice of God for every generation. Because this prophet is the very embodiment of the word